Hello, this video is an instructional tutorial on how to use my real estate transaction coordinator checklist. So we are going to work on rows 11 and 12 as an example. So we'll start from left to right. So uh, first on the left, we're going to put the file number. So you can make up a file number. Uh, the next would be the type if it's a non MLS, MLS or mixed type of closing. So we'll just say it's MLS. The buyer name, so we'll just say that it's uh, John Smith. The buyer's agent name, so their real estate agent's name. Uh, the seller name. And then the seller agent's name. And then the property status. So you have a drop down here of a signed agreement, active, under contract, or closed. So we'll choose one of those. Contingency status, not started, pending, or completed, or not applicable. The next one is property address. Uh, the next one is list price. And then we will put the sold price. So say that it's sold for less. Um, this does calculate um, commission at the very end. So just so you know, it does do uh, calculations on that. So this is where this would be coming from is the sold price. Contract, contract date, double click in here and you can choose a contract date. Uh, you can choose the closing date. And oops, uh, the type of financing that they're going to have, mortgage contingency date. If it's been listed on the MLS, we can check the box here. If it's been listed on social media, the name of the home inspector, inspection contingency date, inspection, actual inspection date. Uh, whether or not the home inspection has been not started, pending, scheduled, or completed. Radon test, the same. Termite inspection, same. Septic inspection, same. Appraisal contingency date. Appraisal date that it was actually completed. Whether or not the appraisal was ordered, you can check that off and appraisal approved to check it off. Once we get down to the end of the line, we can do the closing location, the lender name, and uh, whether or not closing docs were created, if closing was scheduled, what the closing date is, uh, if the final walkthrough was completed, Client received a thank you gift, closing actually completed, keys transferred, MLS marked as sold, social media marked as sold. And then we have a commission rate here. So you can change that anytime. So if you wanted to change it to 6%, you could. And then this percentage will be multiplied by the sold price here on column L, and then uh, whether or not commission was received, and then any notes here. So that is the transaction coordinators checklist. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know.